Well, hello and welcome back. It's Cindy, as always. But I wanted, before I get started, I wanted to say that my last video, <laughs> I didn't realize there was an air, air show going to be happening uh, by our airport. And um, the jets kept flying back and forth, the Air Force jets. So my dog was getting really stressed. So she was in and out outside. And when I was doing my empties, I thought I was done. And I looked, and I'll show you. I still have a bag full of items. <laughs> so what I thought, just to make something a little different, I thought I will get ready, because I got some things to do, and I can talk about the empties while I go along. So I'll do that. Because I don't want to make it boring. And, um, and then I can kind of get ready with me and kind of talk about products. So let's try that. Now, before I get started also, oh, probably about 11 years ago, I started noticing that my hair was thinning. I started noticing seeing scalp. I started noticing a lot of shedding. But it wasn't like my hair was all over the sink. It wasn't all over the, the shower. But I noticed I was tired and you know sleepy, so I so I decided to go to the doctor, and they found out that it was menopause and including um, thyroid problems. Okay, and he and he said, you know, go ahead and you know continue on using your shampoos. He didn't put me nothing on any prescription for the hair because he says I still had hair in my hair. But he says just it's part of the thyroid problem and your menopause. Okay. So I kept continuing on, continuing on, starting using volume shampoo, thickening shampoos, but that was working on my hair shaft. It wasn't working on my scalp. So when I started working for a hair care company, uh, for a company, I noticed that there was a product called Naoxin. Well, at the time, I wasn't shedding hair. I wasn't losing hair. I always had fine hair and thin hair but I had hair extensions and I mentioned that before many times, but everybody was getting on the bandwagon. They were you know, starting to use Naoxin. Well, eventually we started selling it as well. And I remember in the past that it started in 1987. I was introduced to it in 97, which was 10 years later. Well, I started noticing my hair started shedding again. I don't have extensions and I started noticing a lot on my scalp. Scalp is showing. <laughs> my hair is not growing as fast. It's thin, it's fine. Well, I don't have extensions, so I'm noticing all the things that I had before. And I know I have some thyroid problem, but I'm not under medication, so I already know that. And I'm 62. I know that we do shed about 100 hairs a day. We, it, that's what they say. Normally, we shed about 100 hair a day. And it's everywhere. It gets on your clothes, it's on your brush, it's on your comb. So basically, I guess that is normal. So I decided to go start using the oxen because I noticed that a little bit more scalp's showing, receding, and I thought, okay, it's time. I'm there. <laughs> and that's okay because thickening shampoos work for thick, to make the hair feel thicker, but I need to use a treatment. And I and Aoxin is as they think as your scalp, as as you use a treatment for your skin. You know, your treatment for your skin is what we cleanse, we tone, we moisturize, we use retinol, we use retin A, because we want to keep our skin controlled from aging. You know, premature aging. We want to prevent the fine lines. We want to prevent the sagginess. We want to prevent the invisible signs of aging. But we kind of forget our scalp. Well, our scalp is also just like our face. And I, I've met some people who've actually had little uh, skin cancer on their scalp because the sun's hitting it. So, and when the scalp starts showing, it starts to, that sun hits that scalp. We get pimples on there, we, you know, we get dry skin. So it's basically, it's the same thing on our face, it's just, it's in our scalp, it's up top of our head. So I checked up Naoxin and um, I started about February and I went to go get a system. So this is empty, so I'm gonna talk about my empties now. This is Neoxin Ford, and this is cleanser shampoo for color treated hair, because they don't wanna dry out your hair. They wanna keep your hair color, stay last longer, just like any other shampoo. But again, this is working on the scalp. 
Well, I started looking at these little section here, okay? Well, they I went back, read my notes, and they have this called 3D. 3D starts with different words, okay? So for an example, and I hope I'm making sense, the shampoo, their D is derma. That's right there, D for derma. Derma, this shampoo cleanses the scalp, cleanses the scalp, cleanses the follicles, cleanses the pores, because our hair comes out of this little follicle to grow out, right? What one It wants to cleanse that scalp to keep it clean so the hair can grow uh, stronger. So it wakens up just like you wash your face. It wants You wanna wash your face with a cleansing regimen that use a facial cleanser. It cleanses the face, it cleanses the pores. We got that in our head, right? Well, this does the same thing, shampoo, Neoxin shampoo for our scalp. So that's the first thing. They say you can wash your hair for a good minute and what it does, it cleanses it and you can rinse, you rinse, right? Okay, I like my like my washing my hair twice. It's a creature habit. They also say that if you wash your hair every day, the quicker you start noticing the yarxin starts working better, it helps control shedding, it makes your hair look fuller, it doesn't look as fine, it doesn't look as thin. And Oh, before I even get even started, if you started noticing any medical issues, go see a doctor. This is testimonial. This is what worked for me. This is like if you're noticing some shedding. If you're noticing something like bald spots or you're, you're noticing a lot of um, itchiness, go see a doctor. You may have a medical problem. But I'm just talking about just regular shedding and every day. And this is from my testimonial, okay? I want to make sure that see a medical doctor before anything. You want to be safe. Okay, so let's go back to YouTube. <laughs> let's go back to what I was talking about. So this is a cleanser. This is uh, Neoxin 4 for color-treated hair. And I believe they have six steps. They have it for normal hair, color-treated hair, chemically-treated hair, and something else. And, I didn't get into the other ones, but you can go on neoxid.com, you can go call Wella, or you can check it yourself. Okay, so this cleanses the hair. You want to lather up, you want to shampoo for about a minute, and you can feel the peppermint, and you can feel the tingling that feels clean. Okay, and then you want to work it through your hair strands, and then you rinse it out. And I even made a copy of this because I really wanted to say things right. Okay. And they also say that women lose hair because of stress and menopause and diets, genetics. Had a, you know, my mom's got fine hair, so it was going to happen to me. Or a medical problem. That's why I was saying you want to see a doctor. But they say about 70% women notice things about their hair. So you start looking fine and thin. So I want to make sure I got to that. Okay. Which they say is normal to lose 100 hairs a day. The other thing they have is the conditioner. So the conditioner, most conditioners, you don't apply it to the roots because we feel like what happens, it makes the hair feel limp. They're completely different. Now, this one says density. That's D for density. That gives strength to the follicle. It gives strength at the roots. It helps control breakage. So you apply this from the root all the way through the hair shaft. You want to be gentle and you want to leave it on for like about one to three minutes. So I brush my teeth and take my shower, shave my legs. Well, this is from my roots to the end, which is on the scalp, right? Okay. Sometimes I kind of lay my head over. I take a wide tooth comb. This is a Paul Mitchell wide tooth comb. And I gently go from the ends and up. And then I get a little clasp, like a little claw. And then I put it on top of my head. Okay, with my hair. Now let it sit, let that conditioner sit. And then after three minutes, I really rinse it through. Okay, so that's the shampoo and the conditioner. Then I was looking, they have a hair treatment. Because remember, it's a three system. Cleanse, condition, and a scalp and hair treatment, which is probably like a moisturizer. <laughs> that's how you have to see it. That's, I'm trying to see it that way. And this one is called diameter, D. So each one tells you what the D means. Isn't that cool? And I just realized that. I'm like, oh my God, this is so cool. Okay, 
So this one here, after your hair is kind of towel dry and it's not really wet, I put, some people put the pump in their hand, okay, in the palm of their hand, like that's almost empty, and they take this and apply three, three, and three. Pump, 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 and they work it in. Or some just apply three, 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 and you massage it in. It helps the blood flow, and it stimulates the scalp, and it actually makes, it stays in your hair, right? So you do that, and then you work it through your ends. Well, I'm looking at it and it says diameter. Duh, it makes the hair shaft feel thicker and fuller. Isn't that cool? At the same time, it puts the diameter. Also, you got it on your scalp, so it is stimulates the scalp. Work it through. It's a treatment like a moisturizer, but it's for your hair and in the follicle area. So I hope that makes sense. So I use all three. I use the shampoo. I use the conditioner that comes with it and the hair and scalp treatment and you do not rinse this out okay if you if i feel my hair is a little bit dry then i use a leave-in conditioner from on the hair shaft okay but naoxin is known to cleanse 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 healthy scalp and they believe that brings volume it brings fine hair thickness and it helps control the shedding because they're working on the problem, right? Most shampoos says, oh, volumizing shampoo, that works on the hair shaft, hair, all right? Okay, they do both, scalp, 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 and they also work it through the hair shaft to make the hair feel thicker. But if you got a medical problem, go see a doctor because they may put you something totally different. This is for somebody every day, they're just noticing some changes in their hair, and that was me. I wanted to give you a little testimony on that, and that was part of my empties. All right, I'm back. I wanna make sure I got some coffee, I got some coffee going on. So I, oh, I meant to tell you, I love these Chiseido um, pads, they're facial cotton, they're great to use with eye makeup remover. Um, great to use the micellar water that removes face makeup and it's great to use with the toner. It doesn't um, absorb the liquid and it's not scratchy on the skin. It feels good and it delivers, kind of, I don't know, it's soft and gentle. And it not the toner is going on my face, not going into the cotton. I love them. I think they're like $15.00. But I am absolutely, now I know why everybody buys these at, uh, on the Chiseido counter because you have to use it to see a difference. You can even cut them in half and they don't even shed anywhere. They're, they're absolutely wonderful. So those are the Chiseido um, cotton pads. Let's, let's make sure I say it right. Facial cotton. <laughs> Wanna make sure I say it right. Okay, let's see, what am I doing right now? Okay, so this is Mary, Mary Kay TimeWise Repair. This is their serum. This is empty. And what I like about it, when you press, I don't know how much left I have in it. It's pretty, oh, just little, that's about it, that's it. This has a little self level here, and it tells you when it's full, when it's full, and then you'll start noticing it's going down, going down. So th that's what I like about it. So this one's a new one. This one is full. So I'm gonna take this. And it's supposed to be like one pump, supposed to do your whole face. I do a little bit of a pump and a half. And the reason why is, I like to use it on my neck. But I started noticing as, as I'm aging, I'm 62, I started notice, noticing my skin was getting saggier. Um, more of the gels. So this is their serum. It lifts and tone and softens the fine lines and prevents the signs of aging. It repairs the signs of aging. And this is their serum. Okay, so this is kind of like, um, I don't know, like just like makes the skin feel smooth and supple and a little firmer and tone. And that's, that's what I like about it. And it is a serum and you do use it before a moisturizer. And then I kind of work it up on the neck. And I like it because it feels silky, but it feels tight. You know, like not tight, tight, but just real firm, real tone. And I, it, it, that, it goes away. It's not greasy. It's not oily. 
and that's it. Now it's almost gone. Okay, so I have an empty, and this is my new one. And it's called TimeWise Repair Volume Firm Advanced Lifting Serum. It does exactly what it says it does. All right, so I'm going to use the TimeWise SPF 30 Moisturizer. Again, you press it, and it kind of gives you self-level, and that should be enough for your face and throat. So I'm going to put that on my face and throat. And again, what does it do? Firms and tones the skin, helps control the sagginess, the fine lines. It's more advanced, advanced uh, skincare with Mary Kay. And it has the SPF 30 because I use the clinical solution, retinol 0.5. So I want to keep my skin uh, protected throughout the day. And that's why I have an SPF 30 on the jar. Oh Lord, I need to get my eyebrows done. Okay. I'm just gonna go over this really quick. This is TimeWise Age Minimized 3D Night Cream. Um, this is empty, but uh, again, I went to TimeWise Repair uh, More Advanced Skin Skincare. This is great. This is used in the evening. It makes the skin feel soft, smooth, non-greasy, um, normal to dry. It, um, I use it on my throat, my neck, I mean my neck my face, it absorbs, it helps control and prevent the, the signs of aging. But I noticed some sagginess, so I just stepped up to the TimeWise Repair to tone and firm and help control the sagginess on my face. And they're both by Mary Kay, so that is empty as well. Now, I wash my hands, and I'm going to apply the hair and scalp treatment. Okay, so I think it's pretty towel dry. So I'm, I'm gonna take it like this. I'm just gonna go pump, pump up. You can tell it's basically to the end. And I'm gonna massage it in. Let's go on the other side. As you can see, I'm starting noticing a little bit of more, more hair in through here. And I think it's because it's not breaking. It's not breaking as quickly as it was before. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a little bit in the back of my neck, not the back of my neck, top of my head. Let's see, let's get a little bit on us. Let's see, that's what it looks like. It's a little liquid and it is about done. Okay, today this is it. That's gonna go and I do have a new one. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna massage it in, stimulate that blood flow, stimulate those follicles, stimulate my scalp. Let it work. I'm gonna put a little bit, I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit more out of this and probably not, but I'm gonna get a little bit in through my hair strand as much as I can. I'm let it sit for a little bit and then probably use my It's a Tan Leave-In Conditioner just from here to here, just to condition a little bit. Okay. And I need my roots. I gotta get my hair colored. All right, I hope that helps you a little bit about the shedding of the hair and the information and some of the skincare that I'm using, um, all, some of my empties. I just got a few bit, but we'll be done a little bit. I feel like it's taken me all day. I, my sister called, so I was talking to her and I have to track an order that I sent her. And then, as you can tell, I curled my hair and put some Velcro rollers in. And I'm trying to get ready to take the dogs for a walk. And um, I'm still doing laundry and also doing my video in between. Okay, so I got a few more empties. <laughs> um, so the first thing I have right here is the CC Cream Sunscreen with a Spectrum of 15. It's by Mary Kay, so that's their CC Cream. This probably came out maybe four or five years ago. And this is the um, color medium. I like it. I used it in the summertime. I felt like I even went to Vegas. Did I? Oh, I went a year ago. I used this a year ago and I went to Vegas and I really liked it because it didn't separate. It didn't, um, it didn't melt on my face. It stayed on really nice and it gave me a really nice light to medium coverage. And then I applied a little bit more and it gave me a little bit more coverage. I do use this on my days off. Um, I like that it's, it's light, 
but I just feel like it evens out my skin tone. So I did buy another one of these. This is a bonus size oil belay, sensitive skin body wash. It's a two in one cleanser and a moisturizer. I like these because the days that I'm not wearing a lot of fragrance and I'm not layering my fragrance, cleanses doesn't make my body itch, um, doesn't dry it out. It feels silky. It lathers, but not to a lather where it's like a detergent lather. It's reasonable, it's, it's cost effective. Uh, but when I do use uh, fragrance, then I like to use, uh, you know, the if it's Happy by Clinique, I like to use the shower gel from Happy, if it's Donna Karen or any other. I try to use a shower gel that has this fragrance to it to layer it to last longer. If not, I'll use something like this. Again, I use my flossers. I always use my flossers and I like it when it's like the little stick that goes in between so it's easy to floss and then toss it out. Got a new one. <laughs> and then, oh, so this is a primer. This is Lancome uh, Booster XL, Sales Booster XL. You usually use this on your lashes before you apply your mascara. And the idea is to lengthen body fullness. Um, a lot of um, women that come in that have real small lashes, they love this, they use as a primer before their mascara. But I'm out, so it was empty. So I went and bought a Estee Lauder. This is the wrong one, this is eyeshadow. I'll be right back, I'm back. <laughs> this is um, Estee Lauder Little Black Primer. So I'm gonna use this on my eyes as a primer to lengthen at body fullness volume. And then I also apply a little bit underneath here, under my eye, the bottom part. I'm gonna be honest, years and years ago, I used to use eyeshadows, I used to use black mascara under, and never had a problem with it, like getting dark circles, dark makeup around. And then as I got older, for some reason it does that. So I bought this about three weeks ago. I've been very, very, very pleased. No black mascara underneath. So maybe it's working. Maybe it's working. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of Lauder mascara. It's black and I got this in their gift. This double double wear mascara, extreme black. I think it's double wear. I don't know. That's oh no, extreme mascara. Okay, wrong one. Extreme mascara and black. You think I would have known that? I was, I sell it. So I got that. I used a little, little bit of lip liner, a little bit of lipstick. I'm out of lip gloss right now, so. This is Milani Nude 26. It's a pretty, I'm sure you all seen that before. It's a real pretty color. And I think I got Spice Lip Liner. And then this is a Mary Kay Lip Gloss. I don't know, I don't even know what color it is. I've had it for a while. It doesn't, it doesn't say what color it is, but it was nice. It was it went with everything. It's, empty i don't have any left it's pretty much empty they got great lip glosses they got great different colors that's one of my empties and yes i would use another mary Kay lip gloss so almost everything i would use again basically from my last empties to now and then my husband does the tea tree shampoo from american crew so i wanted to say oh well let's take out my uh velcro rollers <laughs> i forgot to mention shaper plus hairspray it's one of my empties. There it is, right here. Humidity resistant, super, uh, super firm hold hairspray. Um, I used a curling iron, put some Velcro rollers, and then I sprayed it to sit. I probably have had this in my hair now with Velcro rollers for almost an hour and a half for a while. I still gotta take the dogs for a walk. 
I use, my husband uses it. I mentioned that before. He loves it. He, his hair is wet. He sprays his hair and then it stays on all day. His hair stays set all day. He's not a gel person. He doesn't blow dry. I use that. It's got a lot of memory hold to it. It's touchable, humidity resistant, and extra hold hairspray shaper plus. I use various hairspray, but right now I bought a new one because the other one was empty. And well, let's see. And then let me take out my Velcro rollers. Well, I should probably show it. <laughs> okay, let's see. You know, I really like these claws, but they kind of stick to my hair. I may go back into bobby pins or I may go back into, I almost dropped out to one of these. I love these, but my hair stick in there for some reason. But when you do use Velcro rollers, you want to take these out and you want to roll, follow your hair so you don't pull out your hair on your Velcro rollers. You may see a little bit of hair, but if you go gently, don't pull and tug, you'll notice a difference. See? Go with the flow, with the curl. Had a little extra one right there. Okay, let's see, let's get the next one here. Now, I don't like using the little baby Velcro rollers. They'll stick in your hair. My mom had some and my sister had to dig them out. I like the larger rollers. They're gentle. These got the little metal inside, so it keeps the heat. These are supposed to be easy grip, non -stick. They're sticky, but non-stick, stick, stick. So they're supposed to be easy removal, easy grip. Oh, let's see, I think they're from Conair. And everything I use, I'll put on the description below. And see how I'm doing that? So just in case I keep it a little tight, I follow with the roller removing it. Okay, what do I have right here? Sometimes I can't see in the back. Now that's if you want to use Velcro rollers. You know, I also use hot rollers too. Okay, so I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and then I'm gonna go get dressed and then I'll come back and style my hair. All right, I think I'm about done now. Okay, so I used a curling iron, then put a Velcro roller in it. Then I sprayed it with Shaper Plus hairspray. When put some little bit of makeup on, let it, the my hair cooled down with the Velcro rollers in it. Came out, shows you I just took it out real gently. Now I'm just gonna use a little Chi Silk Infusion. Now let's see, probably about that much, really small amount. I'm gonna work it in through my fingers, all through my fingers, get it in there. I'm going to flip my hair over and just finger my hair. Not really touching it. And kind of just let it go where it would work out. And then, oh, I need my roots done. A little hairspray. Try not to touch it too much, but I have a bad habit of doing it. I'm a little, kind of let it go like this. And this is why I started using the oxen because I was thinning out in through here. But I've noticed a difference. It's getting better. I know my hair is growing faster because the roots keep coming out. <laughs> now I'm going every, I used to go every eight weeks. I went down to six weeks. Now I'm almost every four weeks, but that's fine. I don't mind. And whatever which way the hair goes I let it go and then if I'm gonna go somewhere I may do a little tease just for a little bit of height and that's it and I'm ready for the day when I was talking about Mary Kay I was talking about um, the 3d cleanser it's got little bees to remove the dullness of the skin dullness I think I said dolly dullness so this is if you go on the uh, they have a little thing here. If you go on your app, you can actually do Mary Kay on your app and then it'll tell you what skincare you can use and makeup. Gives you a lot of information. 
Thank you for everything. Again, I want to say, if you need to see a doctor on a medical reason, please do and find out why your hair may be losing or getting patches, dryness, flakiness, itchiness, baldness, anything. Go see a doctor. It could be a medical reason. If you're just noticing some shedding and you've got fine thin hair and you just want thicker hair, you don't want to lose what you have, you want to keep what you've got, then the oxen would probably be something for you. All right? You guys, have a great day. Thank you for being with me. Subscribe and share and have a great day. Bye.